The Challenge Children and youth living in countries affected by violence and armed conflict are not realizing their right to education. Right now, there are 61 million children worldwide out of primary school. 28 million of these children live in conflict-affected, fragile states. In these areas, millions of young people lack the skills needed for employment. 20 million girls are out of school, and girls account for only 30% of the refugees enrolled in secondary school. Widespread sexual violence, targeted attacks on schools, and other abuses prevent children and youth from gaining access to quality, relevant, and safe education. Despite the importance and critical need for education in conflict areas, education is one of the least supported sectors in humanitarian response. Only 2% of all humanitarian aid goes to education. Why consider conflict dynamics in education policies and programs? If the challenges faced in these contexts are not considered, education can increase tensions and conflicts. For example, education was used to incite ethnic hatred in Rwanda, contributing to the 1994 genocide. Or in Liberia, the long-term mass exclusion of indigenous children from the formal education system contributed to the outbreak of conflict in 1989. Education policies and programs should be conflict sensitive. They should minimize negative impacts and maximize contributions to peace building. Education can play a critical role in mitigating violence by challenging exclusion and marginalization. A country which has 10 percentage points more of its youth in schools reduces risk of conflict by about 4 percentage points. Inclusive, equal, quality and safe access to education can support nation building, social cohesion and positive values in children and youth. How can education stakeholders implement conflict-sensitive education? The Interagency Network for Education in Emergencies, INI, has developed a set of guiding principles on the integration of conflict sensitivity in education policy and programming. These guiding principles are the result of the collaboration between 26 organizations. They provide a common framework to ensure children's access to quality and equitable education. The principles are accompanied by a diagnostic tool and the I Need Guidance Note on Conflict-Sensitive Education. What can you do now? Adopt the I Need Guiding Principles. Use the I Need Tools and ensure that your education interventions do not exacerbate tensions and conflict. And remember that conflict-sensitive education helps us advance quality education for all.